your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the subscriber contracts. And today's contract, Colorado Nightmare version 2, set in Colorado. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Paul Anderson. 37. So on to our briefing, in Colorado for a brief stopover before 47 goes to New York. Let's make some extra dollars and pick up this contract before it's gone. So moving on to our targets and today we have 5 of them. All must be eliminated whilst disguised as the hacker, one via injected poison, one via consumed poison, one in an accident explosion, and two via pistol. We also have only one exit available, we can only get headshots, we cannot change disguise, we must only eliminate our targets, no bodies can be found excluding accidents and poisons, and we cannot be recorded as our optional objectives. So for today's challenge we'll be starting as the hacker, we're going to have some coins stored up in the ground floor laundry room, we'll be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, a vial of lethal poison and our silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, uh, we're just going to approach this laptop and trigger the 3D printer to print a Sean Rose mask before making our way downstairs to the laundry room and retrieving our coins. And from here we will then make our way to the basement where three of our targets could possibly be located. Two of them do actually leave, one is permanently based down here. So once the coast is clear, we can lockpick our way down into the basement. We're going to approach the back wall here and collect the lethal syringe. Then we're going to make our way over to the boiler and Ezra Berg has just left and his guard who follows him down here, that gentleman there on the right, will shortly follow him and he will make his way back up the basement stairs to the outside of the building leaving us alone with our first target so we're just going to wait for him to get close to the door uh, our first target is the lethal poison kill injected so we're just going to walk up behind him as he approaches the window jab him with our needle and down he goes like a tree for our first kill. So from here we're going to make our way back up to the ground floor and into the server room. And from here if we take out our silent pistol we can take out the surveillance system. As soon as we take this shot we need to move away as the guard there will be alerted. And then from here we can make our way out into the compound itself. We're heading over towards the orchard fields and the canteen area where we will find a greenhouse. And in the greenhouse we will find not only one guard on a cigarette break but a bottle of water on the table. So as soon as the guard finishes his cigarette he will go and sit in the corner looking very sorry for himself and we have a very small window in which we can add our lethal poison vial to the bottle of water and that will take care of Miss Graves uh, very shortly she will be on her way there so at this point we're going to return to the farmhouse and we are going to collect up the mask of Sean Rose for our one and only exit. Just, just be aware there is an enforcer up here, just checking on the patrolling guard. 
Uh, there are two hackers in this room. Here is the other one. So he will vacate this area shortly and very, very quickly we need to move in, retrieve the mask and then move away as the enforcer hacker will be making his way to that room. And once we've done all of that, we can now slow down a little bit and we're going to be in for the first of many long waits. So we're going to make our way down into the basement and into the crate here at the back of the room with our pistol in hand. And we're waiting for Ezra Berg to return. And while we're waiting, Penelope Greaves has made her way to the greenhouse. So when Ezra Berg returns, he will spot that body and likely a panic will ensue. We're going to wait for everybody to go back to their usual routines and for Ezra to leave before we exit the box and then reposition ourselves behind the box here at the bottom of the stairs. And then when Ezra and his guard return and go through their routine once again, we are in the perfect position to walk up behind our target as soon as Ezra is clear we're going to shoot our target in the head uh, for a headshot kill we're going to hide him in the crate provided and we're going to hide his gun eventually as well so our next pistol kill is his colleague who would be just up on the top of the stairs there as you can see he will come and lean on the stairs banister and when he does, we are going to open the basement door. We're going to throw our coin into the corner of the bottom of the stairwell. And when he comes down to investigate, we can eliminate him quite easily. So we want to get the coin right into the corner there. So as you can see, that has drawn his attention. We're going to close the door behind us, select our silence pistol, and we're just going to wait for the guard to finish calling in that he's heard something suspicious make his way down the basement stairs here we're gonna let him collect the coin while we line up our shot and then we're gonna open the door shoot our target in the head and then we're gonna quickly retrieve his body and place him in the crate provided we're also going to collect up the coin and all of the guns that are now lying around. So there is the gun, we'll have the coin while we're there and then we're just going to hide both of these coins behind the boiler and we will then move on to our final target, Ezra Berg. And the reason we're doing this is that Ezra Berg will make his way back here and we need him to do that because he will come back and go through his routine here before returning outside and stopping by the ride-on lawnmower for a cigarette. And we are going to make a leak in the lawnmower. Uh, if you shoot the red spot just above the rear wheel there, that will puncture the petrol tank. And when Ezra finally returns and goes through his routine, once he leaves the basement, which he has just done, he will then stop at the lawnmower and he will have a cigarette. And when he finishes that cigarette, he will go for a very short, very quick and very free flying lesson. So he is surrounded by guards. Now, luckily enough, neither of those two guards are close enough to be eliminated in the explosion, although they will be knocked out, one of them definitely. So there goes Ezra Berg, the guard falls down quite heavily on his face, but is still alive, which is the important bit. And then all we have to do is to make good our escape by entering back down into the basement and showing the face mask of Storm Rose to the biometric entry into the wall of crazy room so there we go one more subscriber contract taken care of uh, quite an enjoyable one quite a bit of waiting around i'm sure there's a faster method but i i didn't find it 
So we have confirmation all of our targets were eliminated according to plan and we met all of our objectives which will gain us our silent assassin rating. As you can see that took nearly 25 minutes. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.